need another woman that can take your spot, man. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right now it is 12.04 p.m. We're starting today's video a little bit later than we would usually wake up. A lot later than we would usually wake up. <laughs> We have a lot of work to do today. Honestly, this is not just resetting from this week. I'm resetting for the past couple of weeks. I've been in a really big slump, not getting as much done as I want to, putting off a lot of the productive things that I need to do and want to do. I spent a lot more time in bed recently, so today is just my day to suck it up. Sundays are just my days to regroup, reassess, and get my shit done basically in today's video we are going to clean our room and the rest of my apartment we're gonna meal prep for the first time we're gonna go grocery shopping we're gonna do both of our skincare routines for the morning and night hygiene routine i need to take a bath shave and exfoliate redo my self tan wax and dye my eyebrows we're gonna go for a walk and a whole lot more we have a lot on our agenda and we don't have as much time because i did wake up a little bit later today so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with our day so we started our day off with drinking some water. I've been trying to hydrate a lot more recently and I've been drinking about two to three cups first thing in the morning and it really just wakes me up and gets me started for my day. I've always been really bad about drinking enough water throughout the day and I've definitely seen a lot of results just from staying hydrated and my quality of sleep, how awake I am during the day and honestly overall productivity. After that, I take some time to sit down and write in my planner what I wanna get done. And in this case, I wrote a grocery list because we're gonna go grocery shopping for our meal prep that we're gonna do today. I also drank some Celsius while I did this. This is not sponsored, but Celsius for some reason, whenever I drink it, makes me wanna be super productive and gives me a lot of energy that I don't get from other energy drinks. So this is kind of my life hack of how I've been so productive lately and gotten myself out of bed and had so much energy. I've also been on top of my skincare routines for both the morning and the night. So one of the first things that I do every morning in general, not just on Sundays, is my morning skincare. I start by getting my hair out of the way and then I'm going to wash my face with this Bad Habit Matcha and Mint Cleanser. Y'all, I use this morning and night because it's so good. It does wake me up, so I probably shouldn't use it at night, but it's so good. I just wash my face normally and then pat my face dry with a towel. And then we're gonna go in with this Eye Duty Eye Cream. It's supposed to brighten your under eyes. I also have really dry skin in general, especially in my eyes area so i always use an eye cream morning and night no matter what even if i'm having an off day and i don't do other skincare i will use an eye cream and then i go in with this bad habit mask but i'm going to use it as a lotion because again i have really dry skin i'm just rubbing that in on my face and my neck and we're going to put our hair in a braid because i decided i just wanted my hair out of the way in general and then we're going to take our last sip of the energy drink and brush our teeth You'll see throughout this video that I love multitasking. It just makes things so much easier when you want to get things done quickly. So before I go grocery shopping, we're going to take off our bedding and put it in the washer so that it's washing while we're gone. Now we're just getting changed to go to the grocery store. I put on workout clothes because we're gonna work out later, so I might as well just change into them now to make it easier on myself later on. I'm just gonna take a picture of my grocery list and grab my keys and we're off to the grocery store. I love running my errands before doing anything that I know requires me sitting at home. I know I have a lot of cleaning to do today and cooking and other things, so we're gonna go ahead and run to Walmart, get our groceries. We're also at Starbucks right now and we're gonna get a hot chocolate. I just realized I forgot my Celsius, but it's fine because we're in the Starbucks line anyways. And I also did bring a water. Okay, I just got back. I went to Walmart. We just got our groceries for our meal prep. We're gonna do our meal prep later on in the night because I wanna make sure that my apartment's clean before I start cooking food. Also, my fridge is a mess. I have a lot of old food in here that's expired and also random stuff like, I don't even know what this is. We're gonna go through 
both of these and clean it out and then we will do the rest of our cleaning tasks that we need to do. Whenever I get back from the grocery store, I just put my groceries on the counter so I can have them on hand for whenever I put them in the fridge. And then we're going to clean out our fridge. I had a lot of expired stuff in here, like I said earlier, because I do live alone. So it is hard to get rid of leftovers whenever I do have them because they last me so long since nobody else is really eating them. So that's something I think meal prepping is going to help me a lot with, having food made and having to eat it all. And since I'm in a calorie surplus and I need to be eating a certain amount of calories, I can't let the food go to waste. That's one of the the bigger reasons why I decided to meal prep but I just clean out my fridge and my freezer and then I'm going to take my new groceries and put them in their new spots Once I'm done cleaning, I'm going to set out the meat so that it can thaw for my meal prep. Since I'm already wearing workout clothes, all I need to do is put on my shoes, grab my headphones, and fill up my half gallon so that I can stay hydrated while I'm at the gym. It was around 8 p.m. whenever I went for my walk and to stretch, so I wasted no time and just got right into it. I just did basic stretches. I did a ton of athletics while growing up, including cheer, so I used to be very flexible. And over the years, I lost all of the flexibility that I did have, so I'm trying to gain that back right now before I get back into the groove of going to the gym. And as far as my walk, this is just my me time where I can de-stress. I don't have a set time that I walk whenever I do. I just walk for how long I'm feeling and then when I'm done, I'm done. Today, I walked for about 30 minutes while listening to music. And then once I was back at my apartment, I could then get ready to take a bath. I don't like taking showers whenever I need to exfoliate and I did need to wash my hair, but I don't typically wash my hair in the bath. I ended up taking a bubble bath. As far as washing my hair, I just did the best that I could, especially because I have extensions too, so it already is a little bit harder for me to wash my hair. I just shaved my legs, washed my body and exfoliated so that whenever I self tan, it'll go on a lot easier.
Now that we got our bath out of the way, it's time to meal prep our food for the following week. I'm not going to go too far into detail, but if y'all would like a meal prepping video, of course, I'd be down to do that. But the three meals I did prep were 1000 calorie hamburger helper, chicken with rice and broccoli, and overnight oats for the mornings. It took me four hours to cook because I'm still getting the hang of meal prepping all in one day, but... I honestly felt like it wasn't too bad on time and now I have five days worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I can't complain too much, but I did do this over the course of four hours. If there's one thing that I learned from watching my parents cook is to pick up little things as you go so that there's not as much cleaning once you're done cooking. So that's what I did and that's what I do every time that I cook. Hey guys, I haven't talked this whole video. <laughs> it is 12.53 a.m. right now, super late. Right now we're gonna do some skincare. I'm also going to wax my eyebrows and we're gonna self tan. Just basically our whole hygiene routine, but I'm gonna change. Yes, this robe is cute for aesthetics and stuff, but it's really hot and I wanna put on pajamas really bad. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna start with our eyebrows. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I don't know how well this is going to work out, but I've been putting this off for a really long time. My idea is to take this brow stuff that makes them stick up and just see what areas I want to get rid of. <gasps> Someone stole the wax out of this oh that's that sucks i was really excited for this i just have three finishing wipes <laughs> that's it never mind let's see if we can tweeze this is gonna take so long we're gonna just tweeze right here and right here where these little hairs are I've actually only tweezed my brows once and I barely did it. So this is my first time actually tweezing my eyebrows, but it's not hurting as bad as I was thinking it was going to. Also, while I'm doing this, let's talk. As y'all know, it is pretty late right now. It's 1 a.m. and I do still have a good list of things I wanna do before I go to bed and things that are part of my Sunday reset routine that I haven't done yet. I could very well end the video here and say that that's it, just me cleaning and meal prepping, but it's just not my Sunday reset routine and it's my fault that I woke up later. I was supposed to wake up at 8 a.m. I had written down a timed schedule last night of everything that I wanted to get done today and I put time frames on that. 
I was supposed to go grocery shopping at 10 a.m. this morning and I didn't wake up until 12. So I would have started meal prepping at 2 p.m. But I didn't start meal prepping until way later, like what time? Like 9 something p.m. Granted, I did decide that I wanted to clean before I meal prepped just so that I didn't have to worry about that after in case it did take me longer. It took me about four hours to meal prep which I don't feel like is bad. I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of next week, and then I have the weekends to treat myself. Where I was going with that is I could very well stop this video right here and be like, okay, that's it, thank y'all for watching. But that's not what I'm going to do because if it's one thing, one thing that I have learned from trial and error of getting things done is that if I've learned anything about self-care, self-care isn't just things that you want to do. Self-care isn't always going to be things that feel good for you at the time. It's a lot more than just taking a bath and lighting a candle and cleaning. It's self-discipline and it goes for all matters. Last night I stayed up until 5 a.m. so I woke up late. That's on me. Where self-care comes in is me disciplining myself of, okay, no, I don't want to do all of these things that I need to do and would be good for me, but I still have to. I still need to. Self-discipline is the number one form of self-care. There's been so many times during this video where in my head, all I thought was, I wanna stop, I wanna stop, I wanna stop. But that's not caring for myself. Caring for myself is putting in the work anyways, recognizing that it was my fault. Next Saturday, go to bed at a decent time so that on Sunday, I can get all of this done way beforehand, go to bed at a good time and get everything done a lot faster. I feel like whenever I watch these YouTube videos, a lot of it is taking a bath and doing a face mask and lighting a candle. And don't get me wrong, that stuff is still self-care. But I don't feel like those videos are always realistic. And I'm not sitting here saying my video is realistic and there's not because it is still self-care. But I also thought it was important that y'all heard that I didn't want to do any of these things today. Especially when I had been meal prepping. I literally was texting my friend saying, I want to be done. Like, I just want to be done. I want to go to bed. I want to lay down. But by completing all these tasks, I'm making next week a lot easier because now... I don't have to deep clean my apartment, I just need to maintain it. Now I don't have to cook any meals throughout the week because I already cooked them all. You take Sunday to get all this stuff done. Sunday has always been a day to just, to set the tone for the rest of the week. Also, another point is you're not always going to be motivated. I've heard so many people sit there and say, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do this. And then I ask, well, why haven't you done it yet? And the answer always is, well, I just need the motivation. I just don't have the motivation to do it. If you're sitting and waiting for motivation to do something, you're never gonna do it. Sure, some days you're going to be more motivated than others, but you don't need motivation to get things done. You need self-discipline. If I could give anyone any form of advice to start being productive and getting things done, my literal advice is to just do it. This is coming from someone who used to say that I need motivation. I would always complain about these things that I wanted to do and things I wanted to get done and how I had no motivation for it. I started reading this book called The Mountain Is You and I realized I was self-sabotaging myself by telling myself I needed motivation to do something. You never need motivation to do something. I don't know, your mind is so powerful. You just start doing little things to get closer to your goals. Before you know it, you'll be there. It's okay to have lazy days. It's okay to not do anything all day, but not every day. I've just learned to give myself breaks and that's why tonight I didn't stop and I still am going to continue to do things until I finish them and then I'll go to sleep. Would I love to go to bed at, well, it's 1.15 a.m. right now, so right now, yes. And if I did, I'd be able to wake up at a reasonable time tomorrow without being super tired. But what I'm going to do is grind this shit out. Honestly, I'll probably end up going to sleep at like 2.30 a.m. Also, we're done with the eyebrows. I'll show y'all. They're not like the best thing ever. I don't have the best eyebrows. Also, I got all of the hard stuff out of the way. So now it's just stuff that honestly is pretty therapeutic, like skincare, putting my clean bedding on, putting my clean clothes away, writing in my planner, all of that stuff I love to do. If this is the worst that we got going on right now, we don't have it too bad. <gasps> Wait, I like them. I like it. I'm not mad. As far as skincare, we're not going to do anything too heavy because I am going to self-tan. And if I do, then my self-tan is not going to stick on my face. I do have a nighttime routine. It is more of an intense skincare routine than my morning skincare routine, which y'all did see earlier. So if y'all want a skincare routine video, I would be 
more than happy to make one. In order for my self-tan to stick, we can't do that tonight. Let's brush our TVs. After brushing my teeth, it's time to dye my eyebrows. I use this Just For Men mustache and beard dye that I got from CVS, and I just do equal parts of the color developer and the dye, and I'm gonna mix those together, and then I'm just gonna use the brush that they give me to brush them onto my eyebrows while cleaning them up as I wait. You're supposed to wait 10 minutes and then wipe it off, but I just go through and clean them up as I'm waiting for it to develop. Now my eyebrows are done. I do feel like I could have waited longer and made them darker, but I ended up doing it again a few days later anyways to make them darker. Once we're done with the eyebrows, we move on to our self tan. I just put my hair up to get it out of the way for whenever I do my neck and my face. I use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Dark Self Tan, and I also use their self tanning mitt. I literally just rub it on. There's no special technique I use. Same thing for my face. There's no special technique. I just wing it. And once we're done self tanning, we're just going to put our hair in a braid because I do have extensions, so that's the best way to maintain them while i'm sleeping and now we're just going to put our clean bedding on and put up our laundry and start winding down for the night i want to make this part a montage because i feel like it's more interesting that way personally also how do i explain putting laundry up <laughs> yeah. so enjoy the rest of this video slash montage <laughs> Oh, so 